Hey everybody, Pastor Jim back with another devotional. Got a little background music for you. Right? Turn, turn, turn by the birds. Um, you know, I uh, thought of this song as I was going through my uh, the scriptures this week and uh, found myself in Ecclesiastes. Uh, I just, I, I really love that book. Uh, you know, King Solomon seems to be at the end of his life and he's kind of just done with all the vanity and the nonsense and he's down to the essentials. And uh, he just writes from just, uh, just brilliant wisdom. And uh, he talks about the different seasons, you know, and obviously this season of our lives have been uh, a bit of a, a challenging one. Uh, speaking of the birds, I, uh, I have to say, you know, uh, I've spent a lot more time in this season of kind of quietness and reflection and kind of being stuck. I've, I've learned the beauty of listening to the birds. Uh, there's just so many in, in the Golf Book Park. Who knew? Uh, I didn't. And um, their music's amazing. And uh, it actually is quite peaceful. So um, anyway, between all that, I want to get us to the text in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 that talks about the different seasons and the different times of life. And so I'm just going to go ahead and read that, and, uh, and then we'll just uh, relate that to our lives. Ecclesiastes 3 says, There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build. There's a time to weep and there's a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. There's a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. I thought that was quite fitting with our uh, quarantining uh, experience here, quite apropos, right? <laughs> there's a time to embrace and right now is a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. So this is what we have here in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, 1 through 8. There is a time for all things. And as I was looking at that scripture, I was also reflecting on a devotional I've been working through by Peter Scazzera. I've shared with you that uh, about emotionally healthy spirituality. And um, uh, he actually takes a, a little something here from himself. And then he comments uh, from a guy named Parker Palmer, uh, who's uh, kind of a spiritual leader, author. Uh, and he says, uh, says this, We don't control the seasons. They happen to us. Winter spring, summer, fall. The rhythms teach us about spiritual lives and the ways of God. And he addresses, uh, you know, how we reflect on, especially like the season of autumn, right? It's so beautiful, yet at the same time, the trees are dying, but ultimately it's going to create new birth. And then he says this, this is Peter uh, uh, Parker Palmer. In retrospect, I can see in my own life what I could not see at the time. How the job I lost helped me find work I needed to do. How the road closed sign turned me toward terrain I needed to travel. How losses that felt irredeemable forced me to discern meanings I needed to know. On the surface, it seemed that life was lessening, but silently and lavishly, the seeds of new life were always being sown. I think that last part is, is, is imperative because even as I consider, you know, uh, reopening church and going back to being together uh, in, a, uh, in, a, in a physical space, um, you know, I keep wondering, you know, God, God what were you doing throughout this season? Uh, what is it going to look like in the future? I have a sense um, that things are changing and, uh, and it could take a while to go back to where we were. Uh, and so sometimes it feels as if life has been lessening, 
But if I trust God, I can believe confidently that seeds of new life have been being sown throughout this whole time. And so the question that the, the devotional gives us and the question I want to give you, and I really encourage you to take some time over the next few days uh, and have some quiet reflection. Uh, don't be afraid of some, some meditation, some mindfulness, uh, centering yourself, of course, on Christ, the Spirit of God, but uh, listening to what God wants to say to you. And here's, and here's the answer. Uh, we want to get an answer for this question. What road-closed sign is before you today that may be God's way of redirecting you to something new? What road-closed sign is before you today that may be God's way of redirecting you to something new? My hope and my prayer for you this week and in the weeks to come is that while we may have experienced what seems to be uh, the lessening of life and life lived to the full or uh, summer plans canceled or a loss that w we, we can't take back, um, you know, or, or just the long road ahead of, of, of return to um, health and thriving and not fearing coronavirus and, and all these kinds of things and, and, and overcoming unrest in our country. And, and I, I just think of these things and think, you know what, you know what, I'm going to believe and trust that through this season, God is uh, planting new seed and I am expectant that God's going to do great things in the days ahead. And so I need to lean in and I need to listen right now. I need to contemplate what road closed signs might just be God's way of redirecting me, redirecting our church, redirecting you uh, for the future, for, for really a, a fullness of life. Because God came to give us life and to give it to us abundantly. And, and that uh, desire of Christ in John 10.10 10 has not changed. So that is still his desire for us. So take this as an opportunity to pause, to lean in, to listen, and to just begin to contemplate what it is that God is reseeding in your life for greater growth in the days ahead, believing that God's desire for us is still the fullness of life. And so that's why we here at Rock Point are going to continue to point people to life through Jesus Christ, acknowledging that he is the author and perfecter of uh, both life and, of course, of course our faith. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope this can encourage you. You'll need some time to really reflect with Jesus on this. But uh, we are believing that he is planting new seeds for new birth, new revival, and the fullness of life in the days ahead. All right, you guys have a great week. Stay peaceful, stay healthy.